Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you all are doing very well. So in the series of ratio analysis, today is the second topic. Uh, and today I'll be picking another profitability ratio which is called ATO or the asset turnover, right? So what is asset turnover? Asset turnover is basically the ratio of sales to the assets, right? So it tells you how, uh, how much you are able to convert your assets into sales, right? So how much revenue you are generating out of your assets. The more revenue you are generating out of your assets, the higher would be this ratio, right? So, um, you know, uh, obviously it tells you what, what this ratio tells you, it tells you about uh, the utilization of the assets in the company. So higher the ratio, better is the utilization in the uh, you know assets right so how could we increase this ratio by increasing the sales by increasing the numerator part right so it could reflect that you know the demand for that product is more so if you know the company is able to sell more uh, you know maybe because of better uh, selling practices and uh, you know it could be variety of reasons right so in, in general if the demand is more the ATO would be higher right so uh, typically if it is greater than 1.5 it means that you know the company is uh, better utilizing its assets and converting it into sales right if it is less than one it shows you the under utilization in the assets right maybe the inventory is piling up they are not able to sell right on the other hand if the ato is high it could mean better inventory management right it has the company might have uh, you know uh, uh, might have deployed practices which 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 are leading to better inventory management it is better utilizing its uh, you know raw materials power electricity etc right so this could be one of the reason it could be uh, uh, the third point I all told you the better management of inventories it could be also uh, you know sales could also increase uh, by uh, you know having a better uh, industrial relations as well so for example you know they have clients different clients and you know they they are able to maintain uh, you know or or increase their relations with these industries they'll get more orders and you know the sales will increase automatically so this is what ATO tells you and you know uh, the higher the ATO the better it is for the company right and one thing to note here is that although we are uh, you know uh, discussing the ratios for individual companies but whenever you are picking a stock or whenever you are deciding on the financials of the company it's better to compare the industry average as well right so for example let's say uh, you know i pick up indigo so indigo is in aviation sector right so i cannot compare these ratios of indigo to let's say um, hul Right? both are operating in different domains and you know I, I cannot compare so when you whenever you are comparing the companies do pick up companies from the same sectors and compare right so obviously when we invest also we are investing sector wise so uh, uh, all, although it is you know logical that we'll pick up companies from the same sector but um, again just to say uh, compare it with the industry average and then make a decision right so uh, because the factors influencing these ratios could be different right so this is about uh, ATO uh, next, uh, in next, I'll be talking about some other ratios. Stay tuned. Uh, have a very nice day. Bye bye. Take care and please subscribe to our channel. Bye bye.